Welcome to Atega Tech Academy. Today we'll continue with our applied electricity video series and today we'll be uh, uh, tackling superposition theorem. We'll solve problems and some solutions on superposition theorem. Superposition um, theorem. So in this video, uh, we'll cover the concept of and um, principle of superposition theorem. Um, we will learn superposition theorem. It is an essential skill that is for analyzing linear electronic circuits with multiple sources. So, um, we will also look at how to apply this um, theorem in step by step, following the various steps. You know, it's a multi, um, multiple source circuit. So, we will look at how we can apply them. Then we will finally work uh, problems and solutions to solidify our understanding on the various concepts in this um on this theorem so don't um this video is perfect for students and engineers who want to strengthen their circuit analysis skills especially engineering students i know king university college of engineering students you all do uh, this principle superposition theorem so these videos are perfect for you guys so um please don't forget to like share and subscribe it will really go a long way to help me so without wasting much time let us get started so when we say superposition theorem what do we mean so with superposition theorem um it simply says the current true or voltage across any element in a multiple source circuit let me underline this word multiple multiple source circuit so what is a multiple source linear circuit a multiple source linear circuit can be found by taking the algebraic sum taking the algebraic sum of the current true or the voltage across that element due to each individual source acting alone let me underline some key words so what does this um, theorem means this theorem simply means that when they give me a multiple circuit like this a multiple source circuit so we see how many sources are here voltage sources are here you see we have 42 and 35 amps so what this uh, theorem is saying that when they give me a multiple circuit like this, it asks me to find the voltage or the current across any of this element. Let's say this I. I can I can simply solve the circuit by taking each of the of the sources acting alone. So meaning this circuit, I can split it into two. I can take this one out. So when I take this uh, voltage source out, I'll draw everything all right, but I'll take this voltage source out. And find the current through this 3 ohm resistor and also come and take this 42 uh, voltage source out and find the current through this 3 ohm resistor then when I'm done I'll find out the difference and that will be my answer so that means I can split this circuit into two and splitting it into two how do I mean I mean I can get this because I'm taking this one acting alone I've taken the 35 volt out and I'll find the current through this one and I'll name let's name the current IA and I'll also take the 42 out this 42 out and draw the circuit as this and find the current through the 3 ohm resistor and I'll name it IB so they says if you find the current and you simply add them if I add this the current I found here, if I add it and I add this, I'll end up getting the same answer as if I would have applied KVL or KCL to solve the current through this. I'll, have, I'll, I'll get the same answer. That's what it simply means. So this is the whole long concept about this proposition theorem that you go and they'll be explaining to you. That's the whole concept about it. So in this video, I know this concept is very simple. So in this video, I'll just solve two examples then. I think we'll be good to go. So let's take our, our first problem says we should find the current i in the circuit below using superposition theorem so i know this is the circuit i just used in our explanation so i want us to use this for our first calculation 
So to find the circuit, as I explained previously, we will have to take each of the voltage sources acting alone. So to start with our solution, I say when the 45 volt battery is acting alone. So I draw that circuit. And after drawing that circuit, this is the current I have to find. So I have to first of all find the total resistance in the circuit. And to find the total resistance in the circuit, we realize that 6 and 3 are in parallel. And after combining this parallel, they become in series with these 12 ohms. So I simply do that. Finding our resistance 6 and 3 are in parallel in series with this. So we get our total resistance as 14 volts. So after getting our total resistance as 14 volts, we now calculate our total currents using Ohm's law V is equals to IR. So our total current now becomes our 42 divided by our 14, meaning the total current flowing through the circuit is 3 amps. But we realize that we are finding the current through this 3 ohm resistor. We are only finding the current through this 3 ohm. We are saying we should find the current here. So we are considering this 3 ohm resistor. So that's why I named this here as IE. The current is coming down. Then I now have to use, I now know the total current. Let's say this is the total current entering here, 3 amps. Then looking at this circuit, Looking at this one and this one, we realize that this one and this one are in parallel. So I can now, and I know the total current, I can now use current division to calculate the current in this branch. So using current division, I realize that my IA is equals to the opposite resistor, which is 6, all over the sum of these two resistors, 6 plus 3 times our total current, 3 amps. So to calculate that, so applying current division to find our i to calculate that we get our 6 over 6 plus 3 times our 3 amps is equal to 2 amps so the ie this current here is 2 amps then we now also come here and we take this voltage sources acting alone since if this voltage source is acting alone so when the 35 voltage source is acting alone we also get our circuit as this and you see the current here because here, look at this. This voltage source is close to the current we want to find. And it's also going in the same direction as our current. So we calculate. We also find our total resistance. What do we realize? 12 and 6 are in parallel. So finding our total resistance. 12 and 6 are in parallel. So we find our total resistance. And in series with the 3. This one. We have 3 here. In series with this 3 this 3 ohm resistor so we get our answer as 7 doing our calculation you know how to do it doing our calculation get our answer as 7 we also have to find the total current so to find the total current in this circuit is the 35 divided by the total resistance the total resistance is 7 so we get our 5 amps so after getting our 5 amps we now simply uh, know our IP we know IB here. We now know IB. So how do we now calculate the current? They said we should find the current here. So to do that, so after you realize that we've now calculated our total current and uh, our IA and our IB, we've calculated IA and IB. So we realize that IA was three, uh, two amps, and IB was five amps. So we now draw the whole circuit back when both of the circuits are acting together. So we realize that this was our first circuit we considered. This was our first circuit we considered. This is our second circuit. So it simply said we should add them. So adding them, but this is the tricky part. Adding them here. Look at. Let's look at. This was our current. Our current was going in the anti-clockwise direction. This one is also going in the anti-clockwise direction. So meaning this side becomes um we have to negate it because this is going in the opposite direction to this so we negate it so it becomes negative two amps plus five um plus our five ib so this is it so we can say the total current we simply say i is equals to ib minus i a so doing our subtraction this is what we get five 
uh, 5 minus 2, we get our 3 amps. So basically, that is how we solve these questions. Then let us take our last example on this series. Using superposition. Use superposition to find the current I in the circuit shown below. All resistances are in ohms. So this is the circuit they've given to us. We have 120 amp current source, 10 volts voltage source, and 40 amps uh, current source. So they are saying we should find this current I. And this current is going in the, this direction. So we have to apply our superposition. So he said we should take each source acting alone. So taking the first source acting alone, the 120 source acting alone, we draw our circuit. We take all of them out and draw our circuit. Because we short circuit voltage sources, open circuit current sources. So when this one is acting alone, what do we realize? We realize that here we can also apply current division rule to calculate I1. Then uh, also come here. Also take when this one is acting alone, uh, when the 40 amp is acting alone. So we also take the others out open circuit the others out and for the last one when the 10 volt is acting alone we also take the others out so now let us calculate do our calculation for when each so when the 120 amp is acting alone we are doing our calculation so realize that the total current entering here is 120 so the total current is entering is placed between the 50 and the 150 so what do we realize to calculate i1 i1 is the one entering into the i uh, 150 volts so to calculate i1 is 50 over the sum of 50 plus 150 times the total current which is 120 so doing that then we get our answer as 30 amps we just apply current division rule here to find i1 then we come to the second one when the 40 amps is acting alone too when this 40 amps is acting alone we have um uh this we name this as i2 because look at it you see it's coming in this direction the current comes so i2 is the one the current through the 50 ohms the total current is 40 and it's placed between this and this is between 150 and 50 so we to find the current in the 50 ohms it becomes 150 over the sum of 50 and 150 times the total current 40 so doing that we also get our answer as 30 amps then we now come and take the last one when the 10 volts is at alone we have to first of all now find the total resistance here when this one this one when this one is acting alone we have to find the total resistance because here we can use the uh, current division rule so you see there's no current given to us so finding the total resistance you see that this one and this one they are in series so the total resistance become 200 so after getting our total resistance we have to find the total current so the total current is also equals to i3 so finding our total current so our i3 is equals to the voltage divided by our resistance which is equal to 0.05 amps but this is the tricky part you see our direction was going in this side so any of our arrows going against this our directions becomes negative so let us come here realize that i1 will become negative because it is going against our direction then here is also going in our direction so it's only i1 that will become negative so we simply add them up but we know that i1 will become negative so that will be 30 minus 30 since they are the same this one 30 minus 30 since they are the same one will just cancel out so this one becomes negative so adding them up one plus this plus this plus this it becomes 30 minus 30 plus 0 0.05 then we get our total answer as 0 0.05 so it means the current through this the current i when all these sources are acting when all these three sources are acting the current through this is 0 0.05 and i will simulate this for you guys to really confirm that yes the current through it is 0 0.05 through this branch 0.05 so thank you very much for staying uh, to this point of the video and kindly don't forget to like share and subscribe and
please share so that we we can it will encourage us to do more videos for you guys so thank you very much thanks for watching you can reach us on uh, our email this is our email address and our call numbers so this uh, unit was being covered by same person so kindly remember to subscribe like and share thank you very much have a nice day